Today is September the 14th, 9-14, and our title is Spinach Can. Spinach Can. Okay, let's go ahead and get our book opened up here. Looks like I'm out of room. I have to go to the next page. So what I need to do is I need to divide it in half vertically, divide it in half horizontally. So I have four squares. Don't forget the date. And let's start at the top. So we're going to start with a four shortened circle. What that means is we're just going to make a skinny oval at the top. Just like that. Okay, just a squashed oval is what you're making. Now, we're going to bring the left side down and the right side down. And these should be equal. Try to keep these the same length. And just how this is curving, you're also going to curve the bottom. Okay? So here's the basic part of the can. Now we need to create the lid. Okay, and how we're going to do this, we're going to start right at this point, and we're going to bring it up. Looks like mine's going to run off the page, which is okay. It's always okay for an artwork to run off the page. Okay, it's not a big deal. If you think about it, and you measure kind of the size, if I start with my eraser here, and I put my finger right about here, I know that when I line it up, you can already see my finger as I'm lining this up is going off the page. You want it to be similar in size. Okay, so just let it run off the page. That's fine if you need to. Okay, if you wound up making it big. So here's part of the lid. We need to also make a little ring around it right here. So just another little piece coming off of it. Okay, and I'm going to make some circles inside the top of the lid as well. Well, not circles, more like ovals. Okay, to show that that's the lid. Okay, so the next thing is to make the label. And how we're going to make the label is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to curve this just slightly to match this. Okay, then I'm going to come down straight, up and down, and then I'm going to curve it here as well. Okay, so now you've got your label. Now we need to go ahead and put an S right there for it. And it looks like we can see just a little bit of the P as it's coming around this can. So the label would be moving to the other side. I'm going to thicken my letter up a little bit so it's not so skinny. And color that in. And the P as well. Okay, so we have that. Now we just need to add some shading to the outside and inside of our can. Let's put a horizon line in the background first. Okay, and now we're going to do a blended shading down the left side from dark to light. So I'm just going to start... Actually, I'm going to turn my book on its side to make this easier for me. That way I can shade it quicker. Okay, I just went down one side. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Because it's not exactly how I wanted it, but I just wanted to lay it in pretty quickly. Okay, so dark. And as you're moving over, you're going to lighten that up. So you just press a little less hard. Softer touch. That looks good. Okay, so now I can flip it back over. <coughs> and that should do it there. Let's put a little bit of shading on the inside of the can. I'm going to put some right inside here that's dark. Okay, and as I move over, I'm just going to lighten it as I move over. Just like that. Okay, and the last area we need for a shadow is our cast shadow, which comes off of the bottom of the can. So as it's coming across off of the curve, you see it curving. Mm. Start putting it in right there. And you're going to stop it right at this point right here. So the thing is, you want to kind of curve this shadow a little bit as well, because this is curving, so your shadow should be curving too. So I'm going to go back in, and I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. Okay. There we go. And there you have it. There's our spinach can. 
So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure that you erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Watch your foreshortening. Make sure where you're curving those lines that it curves here, 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 and here. You want that to come towards you so it looks 3D. Don't forget your horizon line in the back. And then also you've got a blended shading down the left side and inside the can. And you've got a cast shadow coming off of the bottom.